Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. In the last episode, we raided Egypt and we took some new ships for our fleet, namely the HMS Vengeance, formerly the Lorient. It's a month later and we're back, 2nd of September 1798. Captain, you've been assigned to lead the opening action of the landing at Abukir Bay. Your task is to land your men at the beach and defeat the French defenders. After a safe bridgehead has been successfully opened, advance inland and secure a perimeter that will allow our expeditionary force to land safely and without any unpleasant surprises. So we're just taking as many troops as we can, all of our largest ships and our troop ships. 6,000 men and 300 guns, which won't see any use. Captain, we have to sail close to the beach and land our troops. Unfortunately, the extended shallow waters will force our ships to keep some distance from the beach and our men will be forced to approach without the covering fire from our naval guns. I think the men will need an extra ration of rum today. We await your orders, Admiral. Because we have so many ships, we are most certainly an Admiral by now. So all of our ships are slowly coming onto the battlefield. We'll speed up the time a little bit. We were here just a month ago. We stole the forward element of the French ships of the line. We managed to steal the Lorient, a first rate. We stole two second rates and two fifth or fourth rate frigates. Can't quite remember what the frigates were because they are not very useful at this stage. Last time we were here, there was no fort and just a bunch of men sitting on that little island further to the east and we just decimated the men on the island but now there's a fort and I don't really want to do something reminiscent of Omaha Beach I'm not really keen on landing on the beach so my plan is to use HMS Victory and HMS Vengeance to absolutely obliterate this fort once that task is complete, we'll land on the beach near the fort, secure the fort, and then we'll have a real beachhead. We won't be able to be flanked from any side, and hopefully that will draw the French defenders away from their positions up on the ridge line. Fight in ways that are least expected, and we have to make the most of our strengths, and that is guns. We have an absolute butt-ton of guns. So we should make use of those to secure the safety of our men. So the naval barrage started at 6 a.m. We'll see how long this takes. 55 guns on the side there of each ship. Or well, HMS Victory has slightly less guns with 112. And H HMS Vengeance has 120 or so very big ship. Then Audacity is a second rate. Arrogant. Anyone that's watched the series will know who Arrogant is. Former Spanish galleon that we stole in the Caribbean at the start of the campaign. Episode 7. I'm determined to make her survive the entire campaign. It Not doing a terrible amount of work, but we've got time on our side. There'll be nothing left of this fort by the time we're through. HMS Vengeance is now in a f good firing arc. Shortly her guns will come back on. Top deck there is now firing. Very long range shots. Obviously, we won't just wait here at normal time and wait for them to die. I'll speed it up very shortly. But I just want the French to know that we're here. If we can get a third or even a fourth ship up, that would be really good. HMS Audacity's got some pretty good guns too. been spending lots of resources to upgrade my flagships with 
lighter traversing gun carriages so they can carry more men copper sheathing on the hull where I can to increase their speed so my goal is to try and keep the fleet at around 10 knots maximum speed throughout the entire fleet. This makes it much easier to manage. The third rates are obviously a bit faster so we can break them off if we ever need to. The troop ship Trayon Fante hasn't seen a lot of naval action. We keep her off the battlefield and the Monarca. Both of those are the captured Spanish treasure ships. Daring heist on the high seas. HMS Arrogant earned her name by distracting the escorts of the treasure fleet while the frigates broke through and stole those treasure ships. So we'll get ready for our naval landing. We're not going anywhere near that beach because that's where, where they are expecting us to land. The artillery is making short work of this fort. We've been bombarding this fort now for just over an hour. As you can tell, there are lots of round shot landing all over the place. Although it doesn't seem to be actually damaging the fortification itself. I'll see you at the landing, I think. I won't make you watch all of this. The final ships are coming aboard. All of our flagships and ships of the line have now dumped their men. It took us just over two and a half hours to bombard that fort and clear it. Very easy engagement and now we're in a position where we can't be flanked and the enemy don't have a great deal of firepower. I am expecting them to react a little bit to all these troops coming ashore. But they didn't care about the fort, that's, that's for certain. We don't have a lot in the way of supplies. I, I've really shied away from using supplies because we usually, usually capture a lot. Just in the, uh, in the course of achieving our objectives. Right, so it's time to start our advance up to the mainland. My plan is to flank this ridge as much as possible. Troops are underway. Their merry songs playing as they march. I was hoping I could steal the cannons, but they are well and truly fixed in placements. And the final boats are coming ashore. This also gives us a, a way to retreat if we have to. I'm a little bit cautious after our battle in America where we were run off the mainland. So I'm going to make sure I've got a good line of retreat. And if we take any prisoners, I can use these boats to send them to the fleet. A good deal of men. It's our entire army plus just over 2,000 sailors, I believe. Grenadiers are up. They are going to be our front line. Going to use troops to their role as much as possible. We don't have much in the way of artillery, if any. I captured a huge amount of cannon from Corsica, but I decided to sell them because there hasn't been too many land battles and I needed the money. We ended up upgrading our one of our ships with that extra cash. Infantry have proved to be pretty decisive. They just need to be managed well. I've had a few hiccups throughout the course of the campaign. No, no losses, but a few close, close calls and a few battles where it was questionable the amount of success we had due to the losses. We'll form up a second line. We still yet to see any sign of the French besides the fort. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. We've got some dragoons and a few units of chassis, which are 
Same size as our units, and we have more. Dragoons are getting very close. Are they skirmishing or are they going to charge? Looks like they're coming in for a melee engagement. Our grenadiers have the best weapons and bayonets available. We'll get a few units around to flank them. Try and make it so the French have the water to their backs. <laughs> Which is uh, ironic considering that we're the ones making the naval landing. A few units around that, through that oasis, into the back of the French line. The Dragoons have shattered their full hardy charge. And the rest of our troops are now coming into the main engagement zone. We'll set up a second line, try and set up some supplies coming in and out. Get the rest of the troops formed up into one continuous unit. Now that we have a flank set up, we'll start advancing on these French infantry. Going for a charge. And I've just cancelled the charge without realising, so we'll just go to double line. Front line kneels. Very close, so we'll get lots of extra firepower on that unit. We'll bring in another to flank and we'll get ready for a charge on that side, perhaps. Get Jarvis up into the fight. We are taking some artillery fire from the ridge. That's probably at the limit of their range though. So not too concerned at this at this moment. Once we sort of break out of this peninsula, I'll be able to set up a funnel and get troops around the flank. Up onto that opposite hill to the north. And then we can set up a line to sweep across the ridge. You can sort of see that plan starting to come into effect. We're setting up a little gully so the rest of our troops can be funneled around. We hold these guys strong here and push really hard. We've got another unit of Dragoons pushing in. Charging along the soft sand of the beach. The French aren't doing very well. If they were going to attack, attack us here, they wanted to do it en masse. To bottle us in. We're sort of going, I was, my plan was that if it went south, we could sort of play like the hot gates and be able to just stop them from breaking through and eventually ground them down. But the resistance is fairly weak and they haven't reacted to our tactic very well. We've almost got these French units encircled on the beach which is what you'd expect to happen to the attacking force in an amphibious landing. All right, so the blocking force is set up. We've got two lines there and we've got our funnel route. So we start moving the troops up and set up a, an extra long front line. Extend the length of the front line and secure that access for the rest of our troops to come around. These units on the beach are just getting absolutely hammered by every unit that we have. And they have surrendered under the insane amount of firepower that we were putting down on them. So they'll go back to the boats and they'll go back into the slave pool. Or rather the prisoner of war pool. You do get the chance to ransom the troops back at the end of the mission or you can hoard them and sell them en masse. You don't get a lot of money, but it is, it is something. So we'll bring back those guys that were engaged, get them ready for a resupply and set up a new front line. Some more French units coming down the beach. This is a fresh unit. We have reorganized and we're not as encircled as we were before. But that's okay, the plan is coming into effect. Supply Wagon is resupplying those first units of Grenadiers. 
and the Marines and some Fusiliers will hold off for a little while. I've been transitioning to all Grenadiers and I have a couple of units of Fusiliers with just very basic weaponry due to availability of weapons. Trying to fit all of my troops with sword bayonets where possible to make them e effective in boarding actions as well as land engagements in close, close combat. A lot of units here pouring along the beach really setting themselves up for failure. I'm sort of leaving the eastern edge of the line weak so that they try to push through there. And then they'll well and truly be fighting with their backs to the ocean. We have a lot of troops, so I'm not really too in too worried about being flanked. Unless it's en masse. But they'd need some they need troops reminiscent of the Battle of too long to really put up a fight this time and the way we're chewing through their units one at a time I'm thinking there's not going to be many many left to defend this ridge line but I can imagine if we tried to land on the beach this would have been absolute mayhem like the game wanted us to They can't stand the fire, so they've just charged into hand-to-hand -hand combat, hoping to stop it. Dashing away again. I've never seen units move that fast. Those guys are... Those guys have got the power boots on. Extending the front line as long as possible. And then we will totally encircle this ridge line. Grenadiers pushing up now. These units are very weak, so we'll try and get them out of the fight. Put the pressure on them so they don't have a chance to really rally too hard. We've had another surrender. And another. So the lines are collapsing. We'll get the prisoners of war back to the boats. It's a 140 men now captured. Getting the encircling action going on. Come up behind these cannon that are up on the ridge line. Try not to be drawn too far onto the beach. This is probably as far as I want to go. We've got another surrender. 180 troops. Impressed into service with the Royal Navy. Someone asked, what am I doing with all the Frenchmen? And I replied, I've been sending them to Canada, but Canada's full. So now they're just going to stay on the boats. And I'll ransom them, them off at the earliest convenience. Ford Element is ready for, to advance up the ridge line. The French have brought some artillery onto the beach. There's our chance to get some guns. Get a Grenadier unit up to put some pressure on them before they can set up the guns. I haven't seen the use of, use of canister shot in this game on land-based cannons, which was a little bit disappointing. I was hoping to see that. That would be absolutely brutal against infantry. Maybe it was a balancing issue. Yep, so those guns on the beach are the ones that would have been at that ridge line. So we can move up to the next emplacement. We've got perfect vision and a su enemy supply wagon off in the distance there to the west. These guns are set up, but we have a copious amount of fire put onto them. We'll get one of the ship's crews to take those cannon. And I'm confident now that we can just move up even along the beach. 
Nearly every single French unit we've fought has had their backs to the water. <laughs> in their own defense of Egypt. I've taken control of that cannon, but it has no ammo. That's probably why they brought it down. Don't know what they were firing at. They didn't they didn't do a lot of damage to us. To use all their ammo up. At least I didn't see much fire from them. I saw some in the initial engagement. These guys have got their backs to us. <laughs> They're oblivious to what's about to happen. Get the cannon up with the supply wagon, but we'll keep the supply wagon moving. And we've sent off a detachment to intercept that French one that was off there into the west. Cannon are still oblivious to our location. We have more than enough troops to take possession of that ridge. And we'll just straight up charge into melee against these troops. We'll come bursting over the ridge. And they're gone already. Shattered. The cannon crew, they've fixed cannon. That's why they can't turn around. Charge some artillery. Get them under our control as well. Make the crew route off the beach. Oh, we've passed some fusiliers here. Again, with their backs to the ocean. They have surrendered. They just wanted to go to their friends out here on HMS Victory. 200 or so men now have been captured by us. Oh, I forgot to take control of the... Forgot to take control of the supply wagon. I detached the men, but I didn't order them to take control. Uh, they've got the Sea of Red. Where's Moses when you need him? <laughs> there we go. They will be ours. Pretty confident we can capture that ridge line. There's only two or three units left. We still have roughly 5,000 men. Very minimal ca casualties so far. There is an ammunition store there, which will come to great use. Grenadiers are just looking at the ocean going, Ah, oh, it's so beautiful here. Why did I have to join the French army? Blissfully ignorant of what's happening to their left. <laughs> We just want to have a look at the water one last time. Yeah, the AI was pretty non-reactive. I think we surprised them. Desperate last stand by these French infantry. But it will be not of no use. The Grenadiers have now turned about. They're like, oh, okay, well, guess we'll join the fight. So we'll just charge everyone up. We have so many men, it doesn't matter. Those Frenchmen are out of here. Got another unit of fusiliers looking out to the ocean. Ah, oh, surely the English will be here at any moment. I wonder when they're going to land on the beach. Got a whole French units over here. They're all just turning about now. 500 men hiding behind the ridge. We've taken control of the ridge line. It's just a matter of mopping up these infantry here. And we've finished the battle. It's pretty easy moving up to the perimeter afterwards. I'll probably cut that out. We deployed 7,000 men. We lost 1,500 due to just natural attrition throughout the battle. The French only had 4,000 men, but 27 guns, and we took all of them. Lost a couple of our young officers. The French commander wants his troops back, so we'll give them back for 1,500 gold. And we've got the expansion to the fleet. We've been given their second-rate ship, HMS Minotaur. We definitely need another second-rate. We'll take that. Denmark, Norway, Prussia, Sweden, and Russia have formed an alliance to try and limit our access to various resources. 
Not good. We have to take it to the Dutch. Speaking of, our first fight against the Dutch. Make sure you tune in next time. Commander Tyriel, out. <laughs>